Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel for a new video. I'm so excited that you're here because today we are doing a classic Jill video. We have done this video probably two or three times on this channel already, and that is a how to perfect your Instagram theme, how I edit my Instagram photos video. <laughs> so I have recently sort of switched up my theme starting like for the new year. And so um, first I'm going to show you my theme and then I'm going to take you through how I edit two different kinds of photos for my theme. But quickly before we get into the video, I want to remind you to please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you are new here. That way you can join our sweet little family. And also make sure that you follow me on all of my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that fun stuff. I'm going to have links and usernames and everything down below. And now let's go ahead and get into it. So first, in case um, you don't know, because I know some people are not on board with the Instagram theme life, um, an Instagram theme is basically just that all of your photos look really nice in your feed together. Um, so when you're scrolling through your Instagram, it just looks like all the photos go all together. I have had so many themes. I've gone in and out of themes. Sometimes themes get really boring or it gets hard to keep up with themes. Themes are sort of a struggle on Instagram, and I know a lot of people are just like, screw it, I'm not even going to bother with it. but. I really like to have my Instagram looking good and I've been really into the way that my Instagram has been looking lately so I thought that I would share how I have been doing it. Alright so you already sort of saw a glimpse of my theme but just to sort of share some insight into it I tend to try to stick with grays, browns, and blues and then of course whites and those are sort of the colors that I look for when I'm sending up my Instagram and in case you missed my last how I edit my Instagram I also have a fake Instagram here where basically I just test out my photos to see if they look good together in my theme which I know is sort of crazy but that's the way I do it and so I upload them here to make sure that I look good they look and um, yeah that is that so um, first thing I'm going to do is just show you my folder here where I keep pretty much everything I need from Instagram so of course I have Instagram Visco Cam, my photos, uh, Facetune, UCam Perfect, Unum, Boomerang, and Snapseed. What we're going to focus on today is actually just obviously Instagram, Visco, Facetune, and Snapseed. And those are the apps I'm going to be talking about because those are my favorite apps. We're going to start off with how I edit pictures with people in it, such as myself, because I'm in every photo with people in it on my Instagram, because my Instagram. <laughs> so we are going to start off by opening up Visco. I feel like Visco is hands down the most popular way to edit your photos. Everyone uses Visco, I feel like. Uh, so you probably already know what it is. You probably already use it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that it's free, although you can spend money on extra filters. So that's up to you. Um, but this is a photo that I'm going to be using as an example for editing pictures with people in it. This is my friend Kelly when we were in Vegas. So obviously I just start by opening up and my filter that I always use is HB2. That is what I've been using lately. It's probably my all time favorite filter, although sometimes I will like move away from it because I feel like I've been using it forever, but in the end it's the best. So then I will click it again and just bring it down a little bit. That way it's not so intense and you can see that's the before and there's the after. And um, then I like to go in and just add a little bit more tweaks to it. And what I do obviously depends on the photo, the way the photo looks. So for this one, um, I don't really need to add any contrast because it's already pretty contrasty. I am going to brighten it up just slightly, not too much, but just like that. And then I always add some clarity into the photo just to sharpen it up a bit. And then um, for this one, I'm just going to bring the saturation down like literally so slightly like barely at all, but it's still going to make a difference. And then the very last thing I add to all my photos is fade. I like to have just a bit of fade into my photos and that tends to brighten it up. So actually I'm going to go back and reduce this brightness a bit just because the fade made it pretty bright. I might even add just a touch of contrast because now with the fade in there, it looks like it needs a bit more contrast. So as you can see, I pretty much do it as I go, um, see what I like, what I don't like. and. That is the gist of what I do inside Visco. Then I'll go ahead and just click OK on that guy. And then I will save it to my camera roll in large. So once I'm done with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this picture into Facetune, which I know sometimes gets a bad rep about like actually changing the way that you look. I don't use it for like the like body molding preferences or anything like that really. There's a picture of sugarfish that I was editing earlier today. <laughs> but mostly what I use it for is like touching out my skin, which I don't think there's anything wrong with like wanting to have really nice skin online. So as you can see, it was breaking out a little bit during this time. So I'll just go ahead and touch that up. I'll like smooth over our skin, things like that. So let me show you. I'm actually gonna start with the whiten tool here. And normally I would go ahead and just whiten up our teeth a little bit, but obviously 
our teeth aren't showing in this photo. But I do want to sort of whiten up this shower area. So it's just a little yellowy for my taste. And so as you can see, I just throw some whitening in there and it makes all the difference. And I'm gonna do it in the corner behind my head as well, just to brighten those areas up a little bit. And there you have it, that's looking good. And then I'm going to go in with the patch tool and this is how I get rid of any like imperfections. As you can see, my friend Kelly has perfect skin. So I'm just gonna focus over here on my skin, which was breaking out um, at this particular moment. So I just go ahead and drag it over and make it nice and small so that it's right over top of the blemish and voila, blemish is gone. Actually, I didn't do a very good job with that. So we're just gonna try it one more quick time. There we go, looking good. Now this big guy here on my chin has got to go and voila. Suddenly my skin is a lot smoother and looking a lot better. But I do also like to use the smooth tool just because um, why not make your skin look wonderful and smooth and beautiful. There we go, so you can see it just slightly smooths out your skin a little bit as that would suggest. That is all this photo needs inside this app. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in here and hit save to camera roll. And voila, that is that. All right guys, so now I wanna share with you how I edit pictures with actual items in it because it is a little bit different. So we are back inside Visco Cam here and I'm just going to find the photo that I'm using. So this is the photo that I'm going to be using for um, this example. I just took this photo to sort of show my outfit that I was gonna wear on New Year's Eve. So back in Visco, we are going to do generally the same thing that we just did. So HP2, bring that down a little bit and then going in and editing this sort of the way that I want it. That is looking good. Same exact deal as what we did on our last photo. And now I'm going to save it as large again. And we're actually going to import this one into Facetune now again, um, because there are tools in there that are really helpful even for pictures where there is no face to be tuning. All right, here we are. So the main thing that we're going to use in here is the whiten tool because I want to whiten up some of this stuff. Like I want this table runner that I took the picture on top of to look super white and clean and nice. Um, I'm also going to just go ahead and whiten up like the highlights on my jacket a little bit because that just adds a little bit of dimension into the look. And also just, you can see on my sort of silver dress that I wore, it sort of has like a orangish glow from the light that was on in the room. So I'm just going to throw the whiten tool over top of that a little bit as well. This is going to help sort of take out some of that yellowy glow that you see on the dress. And so as you see before and after, it just really brightens up the photo and it's just gonna look so much better with my feed now. And honestly, that's probably how I would go ahead and leave this photo as far as uploading goes, but I want to show you Snapseed because I do use that for um, a lot of my photos. So here's Snapseed and it has so many tools in it, but I really only use one tool and that's the brush tool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this photo as an example of how I would go about using this app. So of course at this point, it would totally have a filter on it and all of that stuff, but um, you go ahead and click the brush tool here and mostly what I use inside here is the exposure tool and the saturation tool, but most of all the saturation tool. So you can see at the bottom here, you can add saturation to your photo, which is something that I absolutely never do, but if you have a bright feed, um, look at how like beautiful and bright you can make things look. That is not me, so I'm gonna press the down arrow and erase what I just put onto the photo. And then normally what I would do is those greens would be way too bright for my feed, so I would go ahead and bring it down. Probably I would start with negative five, but if I need more, I'd go down to negative 10. But then you can just sort of color over top of what you want to pull the saturation out of. And it is so easy to use. You're literally just coloring and it makes all the difference now suddenly like this would actually work in my feed. And once I was done, I would just click that check mark. And once I was done, I would just hit save and you can either save it as a copy so it's a new photo or you can actually hit save and it will just write over top of that photo and just change it into your edited version. If you don't wanna have like 20 of the same photo on your phone like I always end up with while I'm editing. And that is the gist of it. That is how I edit my Instagrams. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe that way you don't miss out on any of my videos in the future. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.